Hello. Hello. What are you doing here? Just a friend of the family. Where's Mrs. Mitchell Smith? She sent round to the agency for a babysitter. Let's have a look. Oh, right address, wrong name. You know how they muddle these things up. Don't worry, love. I'll take care of it for you. What's he got to do with you? Everything. I sent for you. You? Yeah. This is my flat. Babysitting. And to think I fell for it. Look, I wanted a babysitter, so I sent for one. You haven't got a baby? Oh, yes, I have. Get out of my way. Not until you listen to me. Don't think you're going to start playing fathers now because it's too late. Look, he's my son, Trace. Your son happens to be a girl. Thank you. I was always letting things boil over, wasn't I? I might have known this was one of your tricks. Why can't you leave us alone? I did all this for you, Trez, for you and the kid. I'm getting as far away from you as possible. Bathroom straight ahead. Place is yours, Trez. Cost a fortune. Don't tell me you've paid for it. That's what I've been trying to say. You wouldn't have believed it if you hadn't seen it for yourself, now would you? You like it? I'm not interested. Well, I bet he would be. That engine alone cost 65, well, 45 shillings. Look, go and fetch him, will you, Trez? Oh, you don't fool me for a minute, Look, it's Albert. it's time we settled our little differences for the sake of the boy's future. My daughter's future has got nothing to do with you. She doesn't need you and neither do I. We're perfectly happy as we are. Trez. <sighs> empty, that makes a change. Well, of course it's empty. Look, you just come over here a moment. Now, look at that. That's your favourite perfume. Now, do you think I'd buy that for anybody else? Look, I'm on the level this time, Trez. All I want to do is to settle down with you and the kid. Don't come to sympathy with me, Albert, because it won't work. I'm not asking for sympathy. All I want's a chance to make good. Ha! How many times have I heard that one? Oh, look at it this way, Trez. We drifted apart, well, because we had nothing to hold us together. But now, with a kid, it's different. I mean, he'll give us a sense of purpose. Anyway, a boy needs a father. He's got a mother. She, I mean, you've got me at it now. Eh? Hey? It's a girl, remember? Now, fair dues. You didn't want a kid till you thought you'd lost it. Oh, I'm sorry, Trez. Look, go and get her and bring her home. Let's collect your things and a kid now. No, Albert, it won't work. We've tried it. I don't want a here-today-gone-tomorrow sort of life anymore, and I don't want it for my baby. There's no peace, no security. Always hiding from creditors and listening for the doorbell. You're absolutely right. Tell you what I'll do, I'll disconnect it. <laughs> I miss that smile. I missed you, too. Could have always found someone else. Think I haven't looked? I've heard. Yeah, but there's only one Albert, one treasure. Everybody says so. Besides, other girls bought a pants off me. No, Albert. And I love you, Trish. No, please. Nobody but you there never was. No. 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 I love you. And you love me. I hate you, you bastard. Walter. Please, darling. Oh. You're burning the candle at both ends, you are. Well, you're not getting your bottle. You've been scoffing all night. <laughs> oh, come on in, mate. Let us have you. Hey, up. It's not my turn, you know. I ought to charge you overtime. I was on a night shift. I'll go. 
Right on. Morning. Hello. I suppose you want some money. Two weeks. 31 shillings, ma'am. Milk money. Uh, tell him I'll do it next week. Thirty. One. Thanks, Mum. Give my regards to the captain. He was telling me about some of his exploits. Laugh. <laughs> My regards to the captain. Hey? The milkman. Oh. What have you given yourself now? The VC? No, I was a sole survivor. Oh, God. The trade is, I've been thinking. What's the point of paying out good money for a place we don't own? Is it very expensive? Oh, I'll manage. There's a lot of things I could do with the place, decorating and so on. What? Stopping you? Well, that's the point. I'm not allowed to. It's in the lease. Another thing. Look at the noise you get living in a flat. I mean, take last night, for example. Quiet game of cards, two or three friends, what do you get? Neighbours thumping on the ceilings, banging on the doors. I mean, that's what started a baby off. Watch my back, darling. Don't bring up kids living in a flat. It's not fair to them. We've only got one at the moment, Albert, unless you were thinking... That wasn't that. what was in my mind. Mm. somewhere to run about. She can't even crawl yet. You need space, a garden, fresh air. Yeah, that's it. You know, I really mean that, Trace, quite sincerely. But I love this flat. It's the first real home I've had, child darling. It's not a home. Visitors. Oh, no, it's just open day at the Argyles. Now, look, I can explain. Explain you. to the estate agents. You can go to prison for trespassing. Oh! And I hope to God you do. What you do that for? Look, what's your game? That's repayment for some of the things you've done. You're nothing but a cheat and a liar. You just let me explain. I don't want to hear any more. Oh, do me a favour, will you? Look, it was an emergency. It was just a stopgap until... Oh, I can easily get another place. We go and have a look now. You're lying again. You're still lying. Your whole life's a lie. Your job's a lie. You're just one big bloody liar. Oh, not in front of the child, please. <sighs> oh, come on, Trez. Look, I was going to tell you. I'll send round for the rest of my things. Look, one of these days you'll be proud to know me. Oh, good luck. Oh, look, Trez. Oh, 
promised to Kilby. I've decided to take it. 